All right, what the hell? HTML now can access features like Ajax, CSS transitions, WebSockets, and server sent events? So is React dead? Well, nah, the only dead here is your grand. Anyways, rather than using JavaScript, HTMX, it will let you access everything we said before, and it allows you to build interfaces quickly and directly in markup. Now you might be wondering, why would I use HTMX instead of JavaScript frameworks like React, Vue, or Angular? Well, you don't always get to choose. There's over 3 billion women on earth and you still choose your head. Actually, there are a couple of reasons. The first one being, HTMX is much smaller and simpler than most JavaScript frameworks. It is only 10 kilobytes and it has no dependencies. You can use it with any backend language or framework such as Django, Flask, Ruby on Rails, PHP, etc. HTMX is more accessible and progressive than JavaScript frameworks. It works even if JavaScript is disabled or slow to load. It also degrades gracefully on older browsers that doesn't support the latest features and it is more declarative and expressive than JavaScript frameworks. You can use HTML attributes to specify how your elements should behave rather than write an imperative code. For example, you can use hxget to make an ajax request, hxswap to update the DOM, hxtrigger to listen for events, hxselect to choose what to update, and so on. An important note here is that you cannot use HX Fix My Love Life. Besides that, it is more flexible and composable than JavaScript frameworks. You can use it with any CSS framework or library, such as Tailwind, Bootstrap, UIKit, etc. You can also use it with other JavaScript libraries or plugins, such as Sortable.js, Alpine.js, Hyperscript.js, etc. There are many more features and possibilities that you can explore with HTMX. For example, you can use WebSockets or server sent events, so you can push data from the server to the client in real time. You can use CSS transitions or animations to make your UI more appealing. You can use Hyperscript JS to add some logic or behavior to your elements without writing JavaScript. And by the way, HTMX aims to simplify web development by reducing the need for complex JavaScript frameworks. However, HTMX will not make JS frameworks go extinct because there are still many use cases where JavaScript frameworks offer advantages over HTMX, such as state management, performance, ecosystem, and flexibility. By the way, I started my newsletter and it's completely free and you'll find the link down in the description description. It only takes 5 seconds to subscribe. This video was for you to have an idea and nothing else. By now, if you're interested, you'll find their documentation link in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.